One of the reasons that people have so much trouble drawing grass is not because they can't draw grass, but because they don't have monkeys. You have to have not one, but two monkeys, and the second monkey has to be upside down. Are you upside down? Yes, he's upside down. So that's how we have to draw grass. But what if you don't have monkeys? Well, in that case, you have to have some skill and practice. So let's go and see how we do that without the monkeys, okay? So let's look at this picture, for instance. And what you see here is you see grass that kind of is as if a, 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 you know, a typhoon, a t not a typhoon, a tornado has flown through it. It's, it's the wind is blowing through this grass. Why is this grass like that? It shouldn't be like this. So what should grass be like? Well, this is approximately how grass looks. It looks, first of all, it's got some qualities, and that is it's straight, and then as it grows long enough, it tilts. And it either tilts that way, or it tilts that way, and it keeps doing that. So if you look up at grass, when it's really short, it's just there, and then it starts to tilt. And you can see this grass starting to tilt to the left and starting to tilt to the right. So that's the first quality of grass. It grows, and then it starts to fall. Some of them stay a bit up, but they start to fall left and right. The second quality is that the grass nearer is going to be more intense, more with your, you know, Nutella. And the grass out there in the distance is going to be more fuzzy, and, and you need to emphasize that. And the third thing is that you want to have some highlights on the grass if it's too dark, because light falls on the grass, and so you just put a dab of white or a dab of yellow, and the grass starts to jump up. Because when you look at grass like that, it's not really jumping up. It's a lot dark, but it's not jumping out. So three things. The first thing is up and left or up and right. Second, this needs to be thicker than that. And the third thing is let's get some highlights on it. And let's do this so that we can eliminate the monkeys. So I'm, I'm telling you, I really recommend the monkeys. Now I've got everything mixed up here because of these globs, gobs of paint. And so I can get a, 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 a lighter and a darker grass just at once. It's also thick paint. It's, you know, I'm, it's not watery. There is, there is a difference. Between, this is, see, that's water. And that's not water. That's thick because of the gobs of paint. So when we start to paint the grass, let's pick on an elephant like that. And we need to get it reasonably thick because if it's not thick, we don't get good grass. So look, straight up, left, right, okay, same thing, straight up, left, right, and that's what you're doing everywhere. You... Now see how you're getting the contrast because this is a light green. Got a bit of a sniffle there. So left, right, but you don't have to have it in a pattern. It can overlap. What you don't really want is this grass, you know, the crisscross grass. This is what people do. They do that, like as if the wind's been blowing that way, and then they do that, and that's not the grass you want. You want your grass to be up and left and right. And, of course, the paint needs to be thick, especially if it's the area in focus. So that's what we're doing. Up. Now, this is sparse grass, and, you know, unless you're drawing something very sparse, you want the grass to be nice and thick. So you just keep going, you know, keep going. Don't worry about the grass, just keep going. And then you start to go into the darker grass, so you start to put darker tones. Now, that's not dark enough, so we're going to put in some black tones here, mix it with the green, and then we're going to put some dark tones here. So just as we spoke earlier about light tones we also start to put some dark tones in and so you start to fill up the grass that way so here you go now when you're putting the dark tones on the dark body of course you're not going to get contrast so there's no point in keeping on going keep keep on putting the dark grass here but you put the grass in the lighter areas and you can see that this grass is filling up nicely you you, you want to get the grass up i mean the elephant walks through elephant grass right so Get the grass up. There's no need for the grass to just sit at the feet there. Or let the grass go. Let it cover his trunk. Get that grass going up. So those are the qualities of grass. So we'll come back for more. But you can put in lighter shades here, like lighter shades or darker shades.
that's what we've covered in grass. Three things. First is make sure that you've got all your greens going. Make sure that you have your lighter grass and your darker grass. And yes, the four grass in the front needs to be better. And yes, get the monkeys. Okay? That's me. Bye for now.